What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is me, Pokemon Say What. As you can see on the desktop, we have the new compilation edition. Now, <laughs> there's some very important news going to happen in a little bit in this video. Right now, we have compilation edition. We will not be opening up the game itself in this video, however, it does contain important notifications for you guys. As you can see, there is a lot within this. And trust me, there is a lot in this build. But for this video, we are going to go ahead and do the changelog. Some of you may not be interested in it, but we are going to have fun with this game. Now, what I say by mean, what I mean by we is that we both get to play it. Us and myself. We all get to play compilation because I will be releasing this with the author's consent to you guys for public use. I want to let you, please, please stick around to hear some of the amazing change notes and some of the remarks I'll put in. You'll see just how much this game truly has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is compilation. We're finally going to be able to release it. So, with that in mind, Keep in mind, uh, we will be, I'll be uploading a few videos and then I'll be releasing the link to it. So stay tuned for that. Do not worry. You do not have to, you know, click on all my videos and like check them. It will be titled under like compilation, edition, release, intro trailer etc anyways let's get to reading thank you for downloading this build please read this if you are interested in the change notes and some links for the stuff used in this build the story mode relies heavily on the player's progress into three different story branching paths which include the parallel dimension discorded main six changeling canterlot story and the darkness of the shadowed empress within the camp the Crystal Empire. The main focus for the start of the story mode is that the main six slash other playables, except the player playable character you choose to play as, was called somewhere else, leaving Ponyville unguarded and was attacked by changelings overnight without your knowledge of them doing so. So you, the player, has to figure out what happened, but and another enemy force has appeared as well which came from an unknown portal from a parallel world. Same as yours, but the main six in there has been defeated and converted into evil counterparts of their former selves by Discord. It's up to you, the player, to put a stop to the changeling forces or the parallel evil force. But somewhere in Equestria has trouble from the evil presence appearing from the portal but within its grasp has grown stronger and must be put to rest. It's your decision in taking the path you want to experience, whether you win or lose decides your fate. Anything with a plus is finished in game but might change later in upcoming versions. Anything with a minus is not in game no longer or it might be worked on later versions. Anyways. Zalgoshai and Flutterzy completely fixed and edited with new AI built for her. AJ Taunt, done, I think. Some stages have new music for story mode purposes. Twilight S Taunt is being worked on, so it's been removed. Keep in mind. Taunts for the remaining the remaining main six and other playables are being worked on. Old vinyl has been removed and not in game and her files have been scrapped. That's what the file name was called. It was old vinyl. Zalgo Jack has her level 3 special fixed completely. AJ has her country focused level 1. 
unlocked but not shown in game as a command in the pause menu. AJ needs her third level one special. Her third level one special has been buffed slightly. Ever free four stage has been fixed. In the background, like it's like a tree. It would like create like a white space and it you know, if you like jump over it it would like fade your character, you know. It's it's odd. Salco so Jack AI CPU increased and specials nerfed a bit to be fair to fight against. Zalco Dash AI CPU increased the damage modifiers has been adjusted, has balanced. Zalgo Rarity increased, Evil Twilight increased, Zalgo Pi AI increased. Flourish High Story Mode AI components will be set to max setting for all fights, except for the training stage. So using Bear will be slightly less abused. <laughs> Specifically me. <laughs> Rainbow Dash will be set to max AI for all story modes and will also spam D button moves a lot less than before and focus on primarily rushing the player down and locking you in combos. Chrysalis is now a boss, but in a specific story pass ending fight. Sweetie Bot's story mode is different compared to the main six, in which it's survival rounds with a boss fight. Which is basically meaning it's survival. Yes. Um, the developer of this build has finally gotten survival to work and function well. Uh, there may be a few glitches, but from what he's tested and, you know, through the script, it seems to play out fine. But of course, there can be bugs and glitches. So it is survival. I believe you will regain a small amount of health after each enemy you kill. And then the boss comes and you kill him. A lot of stages has been added for story mode purposes, but can be played in verses as well. Including a few the developer himself has tweaked and a few he has made using various assets. Several characters had their AI reworked to be difficult to fight against in story mode. Dialogue demos was a highly suggested feature to add into story mode for the story pass of the main six and other playable characters to understand the progression you're following in. Future updates of compilation will require the person to download the entire zip, follow, zip file again, since I tend to change every file a lot to make fixes and balance changes certain AIs and fights and such. So when there's a patch come out, you have to re-download it. The whole entire thing uh, will be all one big file. Again, it's going to be the full release of the build. Certain tips. Be expected to be pressured on when fighting the Zalgo versions of the main six. To deal with this, always make sure to block as much as possible and take advantage of the slight frames. That can tip the AI off and be letting their guard down or a combo drop by accident. Doing so will punish them and might force them to back off for a few seconds, allowing you room for a better counter chance. Ah, <laughs> oh, Zalgo fights. I remember my last Zalgo fight. I'll put a small clip in here for it. Take a while. It's doable. It is. Cause trust me. Okay, that was a bad start. Oh, okay. We probably lost. Yeah, we. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, perfect. Okay, good job. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're fair. That was over in like five seconds. Go ahead. Yeah. See, it, it didn't work out so well. <laughs> I got destroyed. But anyways, be prepared when fighting boss variants of the main six. They'll always start with a level one special bar to use. And they tend to spam their level one specials if your guard is down. If they build to a level three bar, be on guard to resist their damage output if you can block at the right time. Characters such as Applejack can keep an AI locked down if done correctly. Rarity can use her gem range to keep them away from most level ones or level three specials 
when the AI has them ready. The AI at the start of the most story modes tend to be easy, but don't let your guard down once you hit a point where they'll start to harass you and actually forcing you to think of a better situation. Plan ahead of how to deal with these AI variants. Credit to these creators and their respective YouTube slash links. Check out their content and their social links. Dead Your Songs, Scribble Remix, Side, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this, Tropical Flight and Electric Lash, Twilight's Treeberry Image, Stable Free, Tricky Wolf, Mitzi, <laughs> Challenge Scratch. This build is a compilation of Premium, Tribute, Evil Leak, Nightmare Editions, and no means takes any credit to be original. Please credit these other builds as the base for this one. And a thank you to me and ZBA Code Nothing for nothing for respective and necessary feedback for bug issues, lag issues, extended story mode suggestions, and song suggestions. So, with that out of the way, that concludes our first video of compilation. Next video, we will be playing the game. Stay tuned.